Hello everyone, so I want to just continue to share, God keeps on putting in my heart to um, let people know that America has entered a time of prophetic judgment and more shaking is coming. Um, in the process of God revealing this word to me over a period of time, it called, I was called to write a book. Um, that book is In God We Trust, A Nation Under Judgment and A Call to Repentance. So just for the full, the full um, revelation, feel free to get the book. But ultimately, the Lord is just calling me to let people know um, more is coming. It's time to really get close to the Lord. Uh, America has, we've had so many blessings of God on this land, um, but because of deep idolatry, um, other sins on the land, that um, prophetically, the Lord has just given me this call to release this message. And what he's saying is God is calling America to turn back to honoring him in word and in deed. The Lord uh, gave me a dream about coming judgment and he continues to provoke, provoke my spirit to the urgency of the hour. I saw a time of great chaos and desperation coming upon our land. People were acting like animals, violent, without compassion. And the Holy Spirit urged me to fast that day because he wanted to speak to me more clearly. Now, the Lord continues to say to me that the judgment of God, a great shaking is coming to our nation. So I received this message as a waking word from the Lord. And the message was, I no longer feel pity on this nation. Now, the, world, the word had a deep emptiness and sorrow, as though the sin of the nation had reached a tipping point and God had had enough. Now, I asked God if he had ever used these same words in scripture, and I saw them echoed in Ezekiel 7, Five, verses five through nine. And this is what the sovereign Lord said. And this is the scripture. He's saying, disaster, unheard of disaster. See, it comes. The end has come. The end has come. It has roused itself against you. See, it comes. Doom has come upon you, upon you who dwell in the land. The time has come. The day is near. There is panic and not joy on the mountains. I'm about to pour my wrath on you and spend my anger against you. I will judge you according to your conduct and repay you for your detestable practices. I will not look on you with pity. I will not spare you. I will repay you for your conduct and your detestable practices among you. So I believe God is saying his, um, his grace upon the nation or his mercy has kind of reached a tipping point. Now this is judgment coming upon the land, all those that call on the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ individually will receive grace and mercy. So that's always available to those that call on him. But we have uh, really turned so far as a nation into sin, idolatry, paganism, and the Lord has lifted his hand of protection over this country. And this is what he's revealing to me. We have lived in abundance only because of the grace of God upon our land, but the hearts of the people are far removed from the will of the Lord. The foundation of this nation is deeply cracked, like the crack of the Liberty Bell. The Bell of Liberty is also slipping away and only God's mercy can restore us. So former President Kennedy had planned to quote Psalm 127 in a speech prior to his death in Dallas on November 22nd, 1963. And this is part of the quote he was going to say, but he never had a chance to say. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Now this verse rings even more true today than it ever did. We need God's protection and favor upon the land or the watchman watches in vain. So following is um, more from the speech um, and he, he didn't have a chance to fully say this, but he didn't have a chance to say this, but we in this country, in this generation, are by destiny rather than choice the watchmen on the walls of world freedom. We ask, therefore, that we may be worthy of our power and responsibility, that we may exercise our strength with wisdom and restraint, and that we may achieve in our time and for all time the ancient vision of peace on earth and goodwill toward men. That must always be a goal, and the righteousness of our cause must underlie our strength. So Kennedy described America as a watchman on the walls of world freedom. Now, we see even this call is slipping away. Many would like in this nation to give up this important international role, but others are willing to give up, are you know fighting for those freedoms and calling forth those freedoms on the land. But many are giving these freedoms up for a false sense of security, 
um, global government is rising and promises of government. So um, this is just a little bit of the message that is in the book, but the Lord just keeps on pressing upon my heart, you know, let people get ready for what's coming. Um, right now, we're already starting to see food shortages. Um, in California right now, there's um, egg shortages. You can probably look that up. And if you're California, you probably know that um, uh, a dozen eggs is nearly $7. Um, part of what the Lord had shown me as well is food shortages and famine coming to the land. Um, a lot of these things that happen are because of poor government policies. So they're not just um, they're saying part of it is a bird flu, but there were policies passed in California, government policies that said that all eggs had to be free range. Um, and that's that's great. But what happens is supply shortages um, are due to these laws that these states are passing that are causing people, especially low income families, not to have access to the food they need. And I think more of these laws are being enacted, more of um, these things are happening. And we, need to, we just need to be aware of it. And we also need to tr learn to trust in God for our provision. So I hope this message blesses you today. God wants us to know things ahead of time so that we can prepare our spiritual house and learn to trust in him in times of need and not go, go toward trusting, um, trusting in government or um, go to the fountain of your provision, who is the Lord. So God bless you today.